We'll be breaking down a divisional showdown between the New York Mets and Atlanta Braves on Thursday night, where we have a money-making opportunity on a side, as well as a hitter prop that I feel like is worth a look. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I need to let you guys know about some early bird football specials that actually include the rest of the MLB season, all for one great price. I'll let you know more about that at the end of the video. But for now, if you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let us know who you got tonight. Only two games on the night slate for MLB, mostly day action today. But let us know who you got in tonight's games, whether it be side, total, or player prop. I'll be checking the comments, responding back to you guys throughout the night. So we lose our MLB video yesterday big time. Uh, Yanks let us down, lose 12-3 to against the Mets. Wasn't even close, obviously. However, it was a good day for clients. Clients go 2-1. and one. We hit our two bigger plays, Padres' money line. Red Sox, Rockies, over. I think they're still scoring runs in that one right now. Unfortunately, we had Matt Waldron under two and a half earned runs allowed. He allows three runs in the first inning, so it was dead out of the water right away. But um, then he pitches, doesn't allow a single run the rest of the way through, so we lose that one on the hook, unfortunately. Still picked up five units yesterday Units yesterday for clients. Happy about that, and we're still 8-5-1 and one now on our MLB July videos. Look to get back on track with that today in a showdown between the Braves and Mets. First pitch, 7, 10 p.m. Eastern from City Field. And the game is basically a pick 'em. We got both sides sitting at negative 110 right now. Very low total. A couple of solid pitchers in this one. Total sitting at 7 even right now. About as low as a total <laughs> as you're going to see in the majors. You look at season series, dead even 3-3. Three to three. Both teams uh, winning two of three in, on the road. We mentioned the Mets beating the Yankees 12 to three yesterday. Braves uh, were supposed to have a doubleheader. Second one gets rained out. They end up uh, losing nine to four against the Reds. And like I said, a couple of solid pitchers in this one. We got Chris Sale, obviously. Uh, he's he's a favorite for Cy Young at this point against Luis Severino. Sale's 13 and three, two seven zero ERA. Whip under one at .95. And this guy has just stacked quality start after quality start. This is what I wish he would have been well with the Red Sox if he could have stayed healthy. And he's huge favorite at this point. He's going to win comeback player of the year. It's, it's pretty much off the board at this point at such high odds. And he's the current favorite for Cy Young as well, competing with guys like Zach Wheeler, Paul Skeens. But he's the odds-on favorite for Cy Young as well. He's facing a Mets team... Been on fire, right or left-handed pitching. But are they due for some regression? And it sailed the guy to, that's going to shut them down, to, to slow them down a bit. We'll see tonight. Severino on the other side, coming off a really nice outing against the Miami Marlins, where he threw six uh, full shutout innings. He did already face the Braves this season. He allowed two earned runs, a lot of base runners in that one. Four hits, three walks, and only five innings pitched way back in May. He seemed like he was pretty fortunate to only allow 200 runs in that start. Uh, it seemed like the Braves were picking him up pretty good, and I think they have a good shot to hit him tonight. The Braves have struggled against all pitching, but right-handed pitching especially over the last 30 days. But if you look at the last 14 days, they're starting to trend a little bit better. So I think the Braves, uh, especially the middle of that lineup, can do some damage against Severino tonight. We look at the bullpens. Atlanta has a huge edge as far as bullpen. You look at the last 30 days. Atlanta is basically one of the best bullpens. Basically almost maybe Cleveland. The best bullpen in baseball. Number two in ERA. Number one in whip. Number two in XFIP during the last 30 days. Mets, complete other end of the spectrum. Dead last in ERA. 29th in whip. 15th in XFIP. But this Mets bullpen is struggling. And uh, the Braves' bullpen has been elite. I think you give the Braves the check mark on both sides of the pitching matchup, starting and bullpen. You give Mets do have the hitting advantage based on current form, but I think the Braves can get at Severino. And I'm back in the Braves here on the money line. I think it's also a letdown spot for the Mets. This is a big divisional series, but I think coming off this big sweep of the Yankees now, four games on the season, two two game sets. I think this is a letdown spot for the Mets and a backing sale here at basically a pick em price. 
I'm going to take that every time. Taking sale here in the, in the Braves at negative 110. If you're looking for a hitter prop, I'd look towards Marcelo Zuna. Uh, hits plus runs plus RBIs. It's only negative 120, negative 115, depending on where you look. He's hit it in seven of his last 10, 10 of his last 15. Coming off a couple, a couple of down games against the Reds, so it could be a nice bounce back spot here for Azuna. He's also two for three with a home run against Severino. So that'll be a, 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 a lean on Azuna over one and a half hits plus runs plus RBIs. But official play for the video will go Braves on the money line. I mentioned the early bird football specials. You guys can get my NFL entire season with the entire season at MLB. You know we've been running hot in the MLB for only $529. Gives you the rest of the MLB season for only $99. Great deal there. And then you can combine all three sports. NFL, college football, and MLB. $777. Gives you $777. It gives you um, the rest of the MLB season actually for free. So great deal there. I go pretty low volume in college football last season, 13-5 and five on the season, only 18 plays. But NFL will have plenty of plays on Sundays. Every, basically, I don't take a pass in the NFL for the most part here and there if, I, if there's a game where I don't like anything. But for the most part, we'll be in action in the NFL as well. I'm in action tonight in the MLB. I have a play locked and loaded for a night game tonight as well. You can check that out. There'll be a link attached to the video. Um, and uh, if you guys could hit the like button on the way out, I always have free plays posted on Sports Memo and on Twitter at Steve's Book 22. Next couple of videos will be Yankees Red Sox for Friday and Saturday. So I'll let you uh, see you guys then. Good luck tonight and enjoy the games.